Hi everyone, Mr. Witzke here. Welcome to our third and final video about how to use Noodle tools and how to share or export your bibliography. What uh, we have here is we have our bibliography, our list of sources right here. We've got two sources in our bibliography and this is what was used for the project. So what we need to do now is we're going to export this to Google Drive so we can either print it or attach it to a slideshow or a Google site. So what you have to do is you have to get into your, your bibliography and I'll show you how to do that. When you go to Noodle Tools, you start out in the projects page. You choose the one that you want to go to. In this case, I'm going to go to my Badger project one. Remember, we ignore the dashboard for right now. We don't need any of this. We're going to go up to Sources, it's the third tab up here at the top. So we're going to go to Sources. And here we have our list of sources. Now up here, we want to go into the Print Export right here. And we're going to click on that. And what we want to do is we want to print or export this into Google Docs. That's going to be the easiest way to share this. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click Print Export to Google Docs. And one thing I want to show you here is now my Chrome browser has blocked a pop up for this that we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the top and you'll see there's a little message that I'm getting up here where the URL where the address bar is right here. And I want to look at this because it's telling me that some pop ups were blocked and we need to have those enabled. So I'm going to click on that and it says pop ups blocked. It's blocking pop ups from noodle tools. We don't want it to block pop ups from noodle tools because these are important. So I'm going to change this from continue blocking to always allow pop-ups and redirects from Noodle Tools. So I'm going to select that and then click Done. And we'll try this again. Now it will create a new tab and it'll show us our bibliography. It says Noodle Tools wants to access your Google account. This is my account. It's going to do some things. We want to allow Noodle Tools to access our, our uh, Google Drive. Remember, as we sa I said in the first video, Noodle Tools is a safe site, so we can allow this. So we're going to click Allow. And here is my document. It's got my sources and now I can attach this to, I could do a copy and paste and put it in my research paper. I could attach this whole document to my Google site. What we want to do though, before we leave this particular page, is we want to go up here to the share, because right now it's just private to me. And I want to change this, I don't want it to be restricted, so I'm going to click down here and I'm going to change this to Robbinsdale Area Schools. Anyone in this group with the link can view. So now if somebody in the school district, like one of your teachers, wants to see your bibliography, they can go in and see it. So I've changed it to anyone in Robbinsdale Schools can view, and now I'm going to click Done. The title for this is Sources for the Badger Project. So if I'm in my Google Drive here, all I need to do is do a search and I can find that particular document. And as I type it in, it pops up right here. And as I type that in, uh, I can see here that I have an old one that I did as an example, so I want to make sure that I have the current one, and it'll say over here 
when it was created or the last time you saw it. So I want this first one and here it is. So that's how I can find it in my drive. You also want might want to move this document into a folder where you have all of your project related documents. Then you can keep everything together. Once you have it in Google Drive, now you can share it. And I'm going to go to Noodle Tools now and I'm finished here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and sign out of Noodle Tools. There we go. So that is how you create a bibliography and share it in Noodle Tools. Once again, if you have any questions, let me know and good luck with creating your bibliography and finishing your project.